Welcome back. Now let's change the box above the About Me text. Let's click the image right here and click Change Image. I'm going to select one of the images that I already uploaded to my library. And I'm going to do the same for all the other images. Let's say this one. I'm going to change the image as well here. Nice. Okay, and then we're going to do this final one. Change the image. And as you can see, these changes were fast and easy to do. It's just as easy to change the text. So let's go ahead and type in workout. And we can change the font to our own liking. Scroll down and I'm going to choose Helvetica again. Now we can also change the appearance of the button here, which will eventually link to the book online page. Let's say I want a button that has a border, a defined border. I'm going to click on design right here. And within my themed buttons, this area, I don't spe see the specific option that I want. But we can start with one of the presets for example, not this one, how about this one? And we're going to customize this design by clicking on Customize Design. Now let's change the border width by clicking Pixels and changing that to 1. We're also going to click the color box and change that to black. Now the font, that can be changed as well. we can do that by scrolling down as before and choosing Helvetica. The font size can also be changed, but it looks good. So let's click X. Now we can basically resize the box by dragging in the ends, like so. And now we're going to do the same for all the other boxes. I'm going to click Edit Text right here. We can't see anything because it's black. So let's change it to white. OK, great. And now we're going to type in Relax. Let's do the same here. Let's paste and click Inspire. And now we're going to do the same for the box right here. Now, as you can see, the box was a bit bigger. And now that I pasted something in, it shortened it up at the bottom. We're going to fix that in a few minutes. Let's click Balance so we can customize the text of this box. And then by double clicking the box, we can readjust it so that it matches all the others. Great. And now we can take this button that we've made and copy this across the board. Let's delete this one and paste it like so. Nope, it wasn't copied. Let's duplicate it. There you go. That's better. Put it in position. Now the same can be done here. But over here in the black box, we're going to have to change it to white because it has the black background. Let's click on Design. Customize Design. And then choose a white border. And also select a white text just like that. There we go. We just made those small changes and we can already see improvement. The background color of the boxes can also be changed. So customize the design 
and choose something else. For example, how about blue or any color you'd like. X out. Very nice. And now this color can be changed to something else. Customize the design and let's change it to green. Very nice. Good, so we're done with this part and we're ready for lesson five.